It twisted. There's an ulterior motive here. What's up, dude? He's so cute. This is a Southern Pride SPK 1400. I've been dispatched on warranty call because she's brandy new. I won't light its burner. See the burner in there? Completely brand new. It worked for a little while. Here's the burner. Looking pretty clean. The Pilot 2, extra short. I love that. The ignition module's right here. It's a decent setup. Sparking, but it's not lighting. Like this ignition module. Lifelessness is normal operation, apparently. That's a good way to design something, man. I smell gas in here. Oh, I didn't see a spark. here there's six and a half inches of pressure going to the pilot. And I know I hear a spark. So I say the gas valve is not a problem. So I gotta unhook this and this. Undo the bolts on the bottom and the whole thing will come out. Other than that stupidity right there. Here's the burner assembly. Out of the smoker and that's what we're looking at with the pilot. You know what that looks like to me, don't you? You see it? It got hit. Hit with a piece of wood. It's only sparking in this one little tiny little spot here. I'm gonna reshape that and put this thing back in and see what it does. That's the way it's supposed to be shaped. This burner assembly is extremely easy and straight. Take out, put back in. This is the simplest burner assembly I've ever seen on anything. As far as taking it out, putting it back in to work on it, it goes. Very good. But you better have something to take them screws out with. Because uh, most Allen keys aren't going to reach. Whatever, though. That's not that bad. So got the pilot, like, bent where it's supposed to be now and everything put it back. Let's see the light. I singed my hair. This thing puts out some serious BTUs, man. cycle it 10 or 15 times and see if it lights every time. I've cycled it 15 times and it never takes longer than 6 seconds to light. It gives itself 45 seconds. This is perfectly satisfactory. So all it was was that little bent piece. It wasn't sparking properly so it didn't light the gas. So that's, that's what it was. So the moral of the story is follow the instructions.
it says here the wood should be kept at least four inches from the burner. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Don't let the wood hit the burner and this won't happen. I have no idea whether this other party is gonna pay for this service call or not. That's out of my hands. But 